you can't go any further than, uh, than there until you've uh, had your passport stamped. Oh, righto. So this everyone who comes gets their passport stamped, yeah? Yes. Stuart Maybe. believes the UK has no legal rights over the Shetlands or its rich natural resources. What does, what does that mean, Crown Dependency? I don't, I've never heard that before. It means I have a direct relationship with the Crown, but not with the government. I recognise the Queen, but I don't recognise the UK government or the EU. I'm a bit like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How come you, you're here? How did this come about? Well, I've been researching Shetland's legal and constitutional position for about five years. The assumption is that, that Shetland belongs to Scotland, and that's what everything is based on. Mm. But no one can tell you a date when it happened. So if, if there is no date, then it didn't happen. And my research tells me that not only did it not happen, but it could not have happened. Stuart is so convinced of Forvik's sovereignty that he plans to mint his own currency. He's already flying his own flag. I've used a Norwegian lion to show Shetland's Norwegian origins, and it reads Medlergum Skallandbygia. That's Old Norn for, by, by laws, the land will be built. To whip up public support, Stuart has even started his own website offering honorary citizenship and land sales. I'm selling tiny little plots all the way around the edge to Shetlanders until we've got 8,000 of them. 8,000 plots on this? Yes, all the way around the edge. And it's important that they're, they're around the edge because then everybody has a bit of foreshore, which gives them access to the sea. And last week, I um, put a, a, an announcement on the website inviting oil companies to bid for the exploration rights in my bit of the seabed here. This is right. only a tiny island, yeah. but it's a, it's a microcosm of what could happen in Shetland. Yes. That's the whole point. A bit like a show home for the Shetland. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like a bit of supper? It turns out that Stuart's not even a Shetlander. He comes from Bromley in Kent. But he's so determined his island should lead the way to independence, he's even written to the Queen. Your Majesty, I have the honour to inform you that having obtained ownership of a small island in Shetland, I've returned it to the true legal and constitutional position of Shetland. Although facilities are not yet suitable, we will be delighted if Your Majesty will accept an invitation to make an official visit at a later stage. I wait in eager anticipation of your reply. Did you get a reply yet? Not yet. Watch this space. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always, there's this nutter on an island who's, you know, starting his own thing, wants independence. But to be honest, he's doing an extraordinary thing here and a courageous thing. And it obviously means an awful lot to him. He's not doing it lightheartedly. He's researched the bottom out of it for five years. But no way is he a nutter. I mean, look, on a night like this, it's beautiful here. Really magical. I think I'm going to go on the website and become an honorary citizen, get myself a little piece of this coastline. It could become valuable real estate, you never know. Put a car park in, tower block.